Hi, welcome to SimUK Tuts. If your wireless signal is weak, keeps dropping or is consistently slow, you might be suffering from Wi-Fi interference. Switching your wireless or Wi-Fi channel could help improve or even eliminate the problem. In this tutorial, I will show you how. To start with, we need to see how congested the Wi-Fi channels are in your location. To do this, you will need to either use a command line procedure or download some software. I will show you both methods and also provide a link in the description to a piece of software that I have used. You are free to use whichever approach you want and you are free to use whichever software you like. Here is one very simple way to open the command prompt on Windows. On your computer, select the Start button or the Windows icon which is located in the bottom left hand corner of your screen and type in the letters CMD Alternatively select All Programs and then Accessories Right click Command Prompt and select Run as Administrator Type in the following command and press enter. This will display a list of nearby networks with each network split into a separate paragraph. View the list and make a note of the channels between 1 to 13, the furthest away from those in use. If there's no free channel nearby, take a note of the channel being used by the network with the weakest signal. If you already have a piece of software in mind, that's great. Otherwise, open a browser of your choice and navigate using the link provided. I use acrylic. It's a very simple application and it's free to use. The information is extremely self-explanatory and it's easy to understand. If you do not know how to log into your router, please check out my list of tutorials detailing this. And please note, these routers are extremely slow. So do log into your router and click on Advanced Settings. And then Wireless. And finally, Wireless Signal. Click on Channel and select Manual. Then click on the drop down box to the right and select your channel of choice. If you have split your channels already, you can do this for both the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz channels. If you don't know how to do this, please see my list of tutorials. Click Apply Changes and allow the router to restart. Please note that this can take some time and may even end up becoming unresponsive. If this should occur, having waited 5 to 10 minutes, simply turn off at the switch on the back of the router Wait for 10 to 15 seconds and then turn back on. If you don't have any such problems, please remember to log out once you are done. Thank you so much for watching. If this tutorial helps you, then please hit the like button and leave comments below. If you would like to see more, then click subscribe. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you.